What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Marvel's Avengers and today I'd like to give you some tips to help you out in game. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. The first thing I can tell you is do not spend your resources too early on ranking up gear. You find a lot of gear in game and I made this mistake of trying to rank a lot of the stuff up that I found early on you know, kind of, to kind of be able to give me some extra power level. And it's not necessarily worth it in my opinion. If you do find some gear that you want to keep or maybe one piece that has some really nice perks, you might want to rank up that one piece, you know, level that up with resources. But putting a lot of resources into multiple pieces of gear is just not worth it in my opinion because you're going to find a lot of gear. And also you're going to end up with a storage locker uh, that can hold 300 items. So if there's something you want to keep, you're not sure if you want to upgrade it right now, you can store it in that storage locker eventually when you unlock it. So it's not always necessary in my opinion to unlock or to upgrade everything that you, you know, that you pick up. I would, I would really recommend just kind of going with the flow to begin with because you're going to find a lot of gear and you're going to be able to rank up your power level pretty easy that way. And like I said, I, I feel like I've wasted some resources early on trying to level up too many different pieces. Uh, also, make sure you check all the gear that you get. There is an option in the gear section uh, to equip the best gear that you have available in your inventory. And in my opinion, that's not always the best option. Uh, there are are like different types of gear. If you've ever played Destiny or The Division, different rarities of gear, you can go all the way from common all the way up to exotic. And just because you found a, you know, the game's going to say if you found a, let's just say a common chess piece that's level 11 and you have a rare chess piece on this level 10, the game is going to equip that level 11 when you, if you use that option, you know, to equip your best gear that you have in your inventory. But that's not always the best case in my opinion or the best thing to do because that rare chess piece you have on that is level 10 may have some perks that are going to kind of help your play style or maybe that's the kind of build you're going for or just it's better because it has perks so just be aware I, I would check everything I would not use the equip best gear option very often check every single thing you pick up and kind of fit it to your play style and like I said it, it's not necessarily the best case to go up one point in power level if the gear is not as good as the piece you have on that may be one point lower. Also, get some skills early on that will help you break the block of the enemies. A lot of these enemies can block uh, block your attacks. And there are some skills with each hero that allow you to break that block that you know, they're kind of holding. So invest in some skills early on, and it will help you out a lot, especially if you're playing on harder difficulties. Uh, turn off motion blur and camera shake. I turn that off in every game. If you've been around the channel for a while, if there's ever motion blur or camera shake in game, I get rid of it. I, I just turn it off. It gives me a headache. I can't stand it. So if you're not a fan of either one of those, just be aware they are available in the options and they are turned on automatically when you start the game. Uh, be sure you play a lot of different heroes. I kind of got in a bad habit to begin with. I was unlocking a lot of heroes and I was sticking with one or two trying to learn them, which is not a bad thing, but at the same time, some of your other heroes will get behind. And later on, when you get into co-op and you get into playing with your friends or, you know, just finding other people to play with and the harder difficulty stuff after you've beat the story, you cannot have but one of each hero in a mission. So if you have not ranked up a lot of different heroes, you're going to have an issue of, first of all, being lower power level. You know, you're going to be low level compared to what you're fighting. You may not even be able to get into it with certain uh, certain heroes because they're too low level. So just be sure you're ranking up and playing each hero. You want to get all of them eventually to level or power level 150. Um, mission scale based on your hero's level. I'm not sure how this is going to work in co-op because I've not got into co-op yet. But when it comes to single player, depending on what hero you equip. So if you equip a higher leveled hero, you're going to have higher leveled enemies or higher level enemies. If you equip a lower level hero, the mission is going to scale to that lower level hero. Uh, be sure to learn to dodge and parry. Um, how you can do this, of course, you, when the enemy attacks, you're going to see a white circle or a yellow circle over their head. Sometimes the circle will be red. If the circle is red, the only thing you can do is dodge that. Um, if the circle is yellow or white, depending on the hero you have available, you can either dodge it or you can parry it by blocking it and then kind of get a, a quick counter attack. So be, uh, be, be sure you learn how to dodge and parry. It comes in very, very handy in a lot of situations when you're fighting multiple enemies. Uh, different difficulty levels give you higher level gear. So, for example, if you're playing the game on easy and you go in and you decide, you know, I want to go back and play that mission on, uh, you know, like hard or normal or brutal, some of these levels that you can change the missions to will give you higher level gear depending on the, you know, the difficulty you choose. So, 
When it gets around to like Brutal, you can get some gear that is almost 10 levels higher than your character is currently. So keep that in mind if you're wanting to rank up, you have friends to play with. I know some of these are kind of difficult by yourself. But if you have friends to play with and you want to get some higher level gear, if you play on a uh, you know, a higher difficulty, you're, you have the option to pick up higher level gear once you have completed that mission. And you know, kind of picking up things along the way. And last but not least, be sure that you're doing all the kind of side objectives and looking for chests when you go into a lot of these missions. You go into kind of some big, vast, open areas that have a lot of chests, that have a lot of like little side quests that are kind of inside of this area. Be sure you're doing all of these things. You can find a lot of good gear. And of course, you know, you get completion percentage for each thing you do once that mission is done. You'll kind of see that at the end screen. So looking for these side objectives and looking for these chests is very helpful, just kind of overall, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, these are just some tips for the Marvel's Avengers. I kind of hope they gave you some uh, ideas of things you, you, know, you might need to do if you just now started out playing. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, be sure you check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.